Welcome back. Paul and Matt are back too. Let's look ahead to the first game in our ESPN doubleheader. The Celtics and Sixers squaring off. First time this season tonight, guys. Boston swept Philly in the first round last postseason, as we know. Completely different Sixers team, though. Your guy Doc Rivers at the helm. A bunch of shooters acquired over the offseason. Paul, have they closed the gap on the Celtics, who are atop the East standings right now? No, I don't think so. Uh, and the main reason I feel that way is because I don't feel like Ben Simmons has gotten any better. Uh, I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna elevate to the next level and be championship contenders, it has to come from your stars. Yes, MB looks better. They've added a coaching staff, but they can't. They're not gonna be on the court with you. They added Seth Curry, but until Ben Simmons makes that next jump, I just don't think so. I mean, we've seen Tatum get better. We've seen Brown get better. Kimba's going to come back healthy, and so I really don't see the gap closing right there. I think it's closed a little bit from the standpoint of I think we're going to know what we're getting with Ben Simmons. He's around the 12, 13-point range, but he's also a triple-double guy every single night. And if Tobias Harris is the one, the highest-paid player on the team, if he can stay consistent with his scoring at about that 18 to 20-point mark, Embiid is playing really well. Seth Curry's playing really well. I think the gap is closed, but I still think Boston is a better team. And overall, I think Brooklyn is the team in the East, and we're going to see tonight with Kyrie coming back. That's for sure. Now, you guys have both played for Doc. He has made a real effort to, first of all, coach Tobias more the way he was coached when Tobias was with the Clippers, obviously, but also coaching Joel and talking to him about how the offense does revolve around him and talking to Ben and saying, I'm not even going to tell you to go shoot threes. Just do what you're comfortable with. Do what you're good at. What difference does it make when Doc talks to you like that? Well, I mean, definitely when you get new energy as a coach, when you look at a team that's kind of been stuck on the treadmill, haven't really made that leap, and you get new coaching staff, somebody that, you know, I think they believe in, who has that experience, who's won a championship, who's a player coach. Mm -hmm. It can be extra motivating to your players. I mean, Doc is going to get, he's going to come with those pregame speeches that's going to help you right. try to run through come a wall. On, that's <laughs> what I was going to say. Doc is a great talker, you know what I mean? So maybe that's what those guys needed was more encouragement. You could tell with the way Joel Bede has been playing. You said he's coaching coaching Tobias Harris the way he coached him and, and Ellie. So that's the one thing I'll give Doc. Is Doc, like Paul said, he's a great motivational Absolutely. and he empowers you to be the best possible you. So I think that's where they've also, you know, got a little advantage right there. All right. So you did mention the Nets. I got to get your take in the last minute of the show here. What do you think of the Harden, Durant, now Kyrie tonight, Nets? You know, when Kyrie wants to play, he's one of the best players in the world. Um, he wants to come back now. He's going to have to be the one that sacrifices because we see how good James is with the ball, how good KD is. So can Kyrie sacrifice? I think he can. Those are good problems for the Nets. Right. Adding another all-star, <laughs> a champ, a guy with experience. Uh, and this team is scary. I mean, before I said the Lakers are going to make the finals and I don't see anybody out east beating them, I think they have a challenge now with the Nets. Do you feel like you're already seeing an equality there? Yes, I am. Mm. I mean, you they're know, small. It get any they're small. Like if, 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 you know, don't be surprised if you start seeing Jeff Green play more five, Kevin Durant play five, because DeAndre's their only true big guy plus the rookie they have. But when it comes down to the stretch, it's going to be a small team. We're going to see what happens. Good stuff on the NBA tonight. Check out ESPN. Thanks to these guys for joining me. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.